<laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to Mommy's Little Trash Cast. My name is Greg Ezel. I am joined today by the queen of the trash people, Brian Mellon. And the Enzo. What's up, Bri? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Not much. I'm fucking out of it right now. Don't and the Enzo to my big cast, Masha Ochino. What's up? Not too much, buddy. What's happening? Ah, you know, same poo different pile every day. Mm-hmm. So we are all brought together today because we are going to be making some payback predictions. WWE Payback is on May 1st. And I, being the wonderful fighting dumpster champion that I am, am going to put my title on the line. So if it's your first time being here, what happens is we make our uh, pay-per-view predictions. The winner walks off with my beautiful title. The loser has to do a punishment. So last month at WrestleMania, this is when we kicked it all off. Bree had to eat some like dragon breath salsa and play some video games. That video should be up, if not later today, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm trying. It's how, uh, YouTube is being a bitch. How was your experience doing that? Oh my fuck, it was awful. That's, it was awful. The worst it, thing ever. I hated you both. That's exactly what we want to hear. Don't hate us. Hate Vince. Yeah, he Vince is shitty booking. <laughs> True. This month, we talked about it on episode five, the one post WrestleMania. This month, the loser has to watch three ninjas high noon at Mega Mountain live tweet it and live stream it. So, not live stream it, but record us watching it. So, we will get that all cut up and edited, and either Marshall or Bree will have to do that. Um, so, this payback card looks really fucking good. Looks really good. It looks like so much better than WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start with the WWE pre-show championship title, also known as the U.S. title, Ryback versus the champion Kalisto. And Marshall, since you are our our guest, you may make your first prediction. I literally have no clue where they're going with like anything on this card, but all I know is that I want Ryback to go buyback, so I'm going Kalisto. Bree. I'm going the opposite. I'm going to go Ryback. Uh, not because I like him or anything. I freaking hate the guy. I just I have a feel. I, as well, am going to go Ryback. Because the multi-intercontinental champion, known as Ryback, will reign once again. And that makes me sad. Because John Cena did everything he can for the U.S. title, and now it's still trash. Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. Bree, who do you got? Um, Baron Corbin. Marshall. I'm really torn on this, because uh, they've booked... Corbin really strong since he came in, but they love to do that 50-50 bullshit and where no one gets over anyone. And plus, you know, I've just got this soft spot for Dolph Ziggler who loves to sell like a rag doll. So you know what? I'm going to go for one last hurrah for Dolph Ziggles. I am going Baron Corbin. So right now, Bree and I have the same picks and Marshall is the complete opposite. So out of the gate, <laughs> 30, 35 minutes into it, we should know where this card is headed. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, what probably should be the main event for this for this pay-per-view. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I am going with my boy KO. I'm going with KO. I just love him. I love him so much. I wish I was him. I wish we were best friends. Marshall. This this story between the two of them is gonna go on forever. It's it's destined to. They have more chemistry than anyone I've ever seen in the ring together. And it's it's too early to give Sammy the win. It's it's still KO Mania. Bree. Okay, just for the sake of being different, I'm gonna choose Sammy Zane. Just just for shits and giggles. Let's do it. Now we have Dad Bod Funny Nips versus Dean Ambrose. Jericho and Ambrose. Marshall. It has to be Ambrose. Like if if they don't give Ambrose a win here, I like they're just gonna murder him dead in the water. I mean, they did this a couple of years ago where he didn't win on pay per view for like a year straight, and they can't do that to him again. Like after not even making him look good at all against Brock, like this is what Jericho's here for. He's here to put over younger talent. He didn't do with AJ Styles, but whatever. 
Ambrose needs to win this match, so I'm putting it on Dean. Brady? Yeah, I'm the same. Um, I'm going to go Dean Ambrose for this one, just because, well, actually, I was going to say it makes sense, but then again, maybe, you know, shit with Vince McMahon never makes fucking sense. No, I'll stick with Dean. I'll stick with Dean. Yeah, I'm going with Dean Ambrose, too, only because I went with Jericho against AJ Styles to be different. But I don't think I don't think Jericho's going over here. I think Ambrose finally gets his pay per view comeuppance, takes home a victory. Finals of the WWE Tag Team Tournament: Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the Vaude Villains. What do you got, Brian? Um, see, this is hard for me because I literally know nothing about either one of them. We're gonna go with the ones that I like the most, and that's Enzo and Cass. Marshall. I'm going to say the VOD villains only because people are dying to see New Day versus Enzo and Cass, and they're going to make them wait. Because the longer you make it wait, the harder that feud's going to get. And then when you see Big E and Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston on the mic against Enzo, it's just going to be an explosion of loved fluids, and it's going to be the greatest feud of the last 10 years. Even though the ring work won't be that great, I don't care. But Vaude Villains are taking it on Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to – I as well am going to say the Vaude Villains for that same reason because if you keep Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy without the titles, they're still going to be huge. The Vaude Villains, not as over as some would have thought. Um, so they're going to use this tournament and facing the New Day to try and get the Vaude Villains over as legit tag team heels. Um, women's match, Natalia with Bret Hart versus Charlotte with Ric Flair. Bree. Me again. Okay. I think at this point I'm going to go Natalia. Just because. I think Charlotte's had the title for a while. I don't know. I don't know. Marshall? Oh, I could be watching some fucking Mega Mountain here, but I'm going I'm going Natty. I, I think... Like, she's got to be the only one that's smart enough to out Ric Flair, Ric Flair. She's got Bret Hart, who, whatever, he's, he's come out and said that he doesn't even want to be there. But, you know what? I, I think it's it's something different, you know? So, you know what? Oh, my God, this kid. Hold on. Kenzie. I, Kenzie. Go downstairs, please. Thank you. Bye, Kenzie. Oh, my I'm going with Charlotte because I don't think I think the next person who carries the woman's strap is going to be Sasha Banks. So I think that she's going to keep it. Although Bret Hart could finally end the Ric Flair interference who may not be there because he got arrested in Boston the other day. Or detained. He was detained in Boston because he was fucking shithoused at Logan Airport. But I'm going with, I'm going with Charlotte. Two matches left. The Intercontinental Championship match, Cesaro versus The Miz. Marshall. Well, I mean, they got to give us something to be happy about here, so it's got to be Cesaro, right? And I think this feud's been pretty great for the short build-up that it's had. You can say a lot of things about The Miz, but if you want to get a baby face over, like, he's the one, like, there's no one that will get cheered, that will get booed against The Miz. He's got this just punchable face. He's fucking white hot shit on the mic is just like if you want something positive to, like if you want any championship positive energy to come out it's got to be Cesaro like this is it's why I'm tuned in I think it's going to be a great match Bree, I'm also going to go with Cesaro same reasons same these time for the C-section to get over last but not least the world heavyweight title AJ Styles and Roman Reigns the man with the wettest hair, Brian. I know. I already know who you got, but go ahead. Who do you think I got? I think you got Roman Reigns. I think I do too. Um, it, uh, yeah. It just they're gonna keep keep him with the belt. It just, yeah, it doesn't make sense for him to drop it to AJ Styles at this point. Marshall, if AJ Styles wins on Sunday, I will literally eat a piece of paper that says AJ Styles won. I will throw some hot sauce on it and swallow it down. As much as I want to see it, it will never happen. It's going to be a wonky as fuck finish. 
but no. No. Roman no. Reigns is going to win. Yep. Do you think Finn mm-hmm. Balor debuts? Because there's been rumors that he's coming on payback. And with the, you know, people are saying that the Balor Club, uh, Gallows and Anderson are going to run in. I think I think that all three are going to run in, start a feud, Balor and AJ Styles. I do not think that Finn Balor shows up on Sunday. Where I think they are going with this is that I think Gallows and Anderson end up costing AJ the match. And, you know, not to give it to Roman, which is a kind of like, oh, you say you don't need our help? Well, here it is. And then Finn and AJ team up to take on Gallows and Anderson is where I see it happening. I don't know. Hmm. It's I, I would like to see that. Which means I won't get to see it. So, yeah. all right. Well, this has been our payback picks, predictions, and we will have a follow-up trash cast episode six. This is what we're calling a quick cast. Quick 10, 15 minutes. We're going to talk about you know little predictions, and when you see us again, I will continue being the reigning dumpster fire champion, and Bree or Marshall will unfortunately have to watch Three Ninjas high noon at mega mountain it's gonna be great so thank you for checking in real quick we will see you next time like share give it to everybody soundcloud.com slash deja your you can find not only all the mommy's little trash cast episodes but you can also find the optional skate deja your flagship hockey podcast i hope you guys have a great time watching payback and i hope you guys enjoy knowing you're gonna lose and have to I talk hope. to me again. I hope you have a fun time watching Three Ninjas High Noon and Mega Mountain. I can't wait. Part <laughs> on this because uh, they've booked Corbin really strong since he came in, but they love to do that 50 50 bullshit and where no one gets over anyone. And plus, you know, I've just got this soft spot for Dolph Ziggler who loves to sell like a rag doll. So, you know what? I'm going to go for one last hurrah for Dolph Ziggles. I am going Baron Corbin. So right now, Bree and I have the same picks, and Marshall is the complete opposite. So out of the gate, <laughs> 30, 35 minutes into it, we should know where this card is headed. Yep. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, what probably should be the main event for this for this pay-per-view. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I am going with my boy, KO. I'm going with KO. I just love him no clue where they're going with like anything on this card but all i know is that i want ryback to go buyback so i'm going kalisto brie i'm going the opposite i'm going to go ryback uh not because i like him or anything i freaking hate the guy i just i have a feel i as well i'm gonna go ryback because the multi intercontinental champion known as ryback will reign once again and that makes me sad. Because John Cena did everything he can for the U.S. title, and now it's still trash. Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. Pre, who do you got? Um, Baron Corbin. Marshall. I'm really torn. This month, we talked about it on episode 5, the one post-WrestleMania. This month, the loser has to watch Three Ninjas, High Noon at Mega Mountain, live tweet it, and live stream it. So, not live stream it, but just record us watching it. So we will get that all cut up and edited, and either Marshall or Bree will have to do that. Um, so this payback card looks really fucking good. Looks really good. It looks like so much better than WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start with the WWE pre-show championship title, also known as the U.S. title Ryback versus the champion Kalisto. And Marshall, since you are our our guest, you may make your first prediction. I literally have What's up everyone? Welcome to Mommy's Little Trash Cast. My name is Greg Ezel. I am joined today by the Queen of the Trash People, Brian Mellon. And Hello? the Enzo What's up, Bri? <clears throat> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Not much. I'm fucking out of it right now. Don't and mind me. In the end, to my big cast, Marshall Ochino. What's up? 
Not too much, buddy. What's happening? Ah, you know, same poo different pile every day. Mm-hmm. So we are all brought together today because we are going to be making some payback predictions. WWE Payback is on May 1st. And I, being the wonderful fighting dumpster champion that I am, am going to put my title on the line. So if it's your first time being here, what happens is we make our uh, pay-per-view predictions. The winner walks off with my beautiful title. The loser has to do a punishment. So last month at WrestleMania, this is when we kicked it all off. Brie had to eat some, like, dragon breath salsa and play some video games. That video should be up, if not later today, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm trying. It's how, uh, YouTube is being a bitch. How was your experience doing that? Oh my fuck, it was awful. That's it was awful. The that's worst a, thing ever. I hated you both. That's exactly what we want to hear. Don't hate us. Hate Vince. Yeah, hate Vince's shitty booking. <laughs> True. 